Hello, hello, my lovely friends, it's me, Olivia, and I'm really happy to see each of you here at my YouTube channel, my absolutely amazing platform where I'm sharing with you my best knowledge about binary option. And today this video will be dedicated to live searching for the signals. It will be very helpful for your bigger profit, for your profitable session. So please make yourself comfortable. And before we start, make sure that you already subscribe my channel, keep your likes, comments, and please follow my telegram channel where you can get free signals and lots of useful information so for now let's begin i can't wait to earn big money this video will be dedicated to the live searching for the signals and of course in today's video i will use my knowledge of patterns and i will combine it with some indicators of course let's quickly set up them first of all i will open zigzag indicator just to see the trend lines so it's a Pretty important it's a simple tool but trend lines seen it's very important what else I want to choose one more escalator just to see our sold and our board area condition and I think the best indicator for this reason is stochastic escalator friends as you see uh, it has overbought and oversold reason and uh, also we can see this intersection of lines at stochastic that also can tell me about the signals but my aim today is to show you the signals due to key levels due to patterns and explain you how to do this correctly friends I almost forgot to tell you that I am currently actively working working on my telegram channel what does it mean i publish there more information about the life of trader useful theoretical materials tests analysis of strategies various files and of course even more free trading signals that you can use in your trading sessions and earn money with me my subscribers are already doing great results with my signals with 90% probability and you can become one of them. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then follow the link in the description under this video and come back here because we still have a lot of interesting things waiting for us yes let's get started friends my lovely friends as you see i have a three currency pairs now and maybe i'll choose more but uh there so i think uh, that you have to understand when you start searching for the signals just pay attention to the time frames you do this for example i am on uh, my one hour time frame on and here we can see that the price can grow in one hour pretty confidently and uh, very growth confident move of the price in up direction and after that a little period of correction which is called like a rising week which is happening uh, after this and this which was broken by this moment of the price and the price is going further so once it reached this level by the way we have to check what's happening on the level which is 1.10579 friends what's happening there we have to check the situation on the bigger time frames also but after this the price went in down direction and right now this small period of correction is happening okay still the price is trading at this level approximately at this level and we have to understand why the price is especially if we are speaking about such common currency pairs is trading at this level because banks are transferring huge amounts of money exactly at this level and this kind of profitable for them just to transfer euro to us dollar or vice versa for this price okay some big players are taking this position at this level okay yes let me check what's happening on four hours time frame and yes this uh, flat line line uh same but we can see a bigger picture we can see that later uh the price was even higher and higher uh, and yes we want to check why after this level the price falls down did you remember this i told you about this point these numbers can you see that this is one more level you see exactly here uh, there is a bunch of candles at this uh, is more level now uh, we can say that it was like a resistance level for this price but here 
the price was trying to be supported so remember key levels are very important especially if you are searching for the patterns and doing such trades friends even on lower time frames you know i'm trading on lower time frames but before doing such trades i always analyze four hour time frames I always analyze one day charts, friends. Uh, everything is so necessary for me, so I only after this I can uh, go to my one minute time frame and start opening positions here. Uh, the price is growing, that's very cool. This is a strong and confident bullish market. And yes, knowing what's happening in general, that uh, this is a period of correction. Exactly at this point, I can open a position here dealing with these candles and paying attention, paying attention, sorry, to this local situation. Okay, um, my first trade will be $150 and that's not my whole world. Yes, I started big today, fine. That's not small account trading, but pay attention to the strategy and to the logic of my trades. Just pay attention and um, uh, to the logic of my trades and just uh, to my explanation, not uh, to how much I'm investing here. Uh, and from this point, friends, I'm ready to open a call position. Let's go. Excellent. I'm in a profit. The price is growing. That was so predictable that the price would go higher because this is a bullish market. The best point to enter the bullish market is when the price is pretty low, even if it is period of correction on bigger time frames. Yes, yes, here the price is trading in this range and uh, very soon once this price reached this area, look, the price could go lower. But anyway, we still have time to deal with the price when it is an oversold area as it is 30 minutes time frame. And yes, the price still has 30 candles to grow on our one minute time frame. Amazing. Yes, let's continue trading. Let's continue. Um, Let's do this with my first currency pair, which is Australian dollar and Japanese money, yes. You see, it's a pretty easy to double your investment if you know the right entry point. So perfect, and let's continue searching for, the, for this entry point or with yourself. So, uh, this is a bearish market, the price is constantly falling, and right now, even when I still see this bench of candles, which is a pretty ambitious and it's a flat, and I can see, I can see this honestly and uh, that's why here I will use pretty nice trick so $350 in my investment fine and the trick is that I need to increase my time expiration and I will put this time expiration for five minutes yes I will be opening here a trade pretty much longer but it will be decrease my um, it will decrease my risk because I can't predict direction, and but only in five minutes. So be ready for put option right now. Well, friends, great result. As you see, I was right. Wow, the price has went a little bit, but relatively to my entry point, the price has fallen a little bit. Now we can see these green candles, but my entry point was right over there and you see five candles was formed during my trade. And yes, one, two, three, four, five candles. Yes, from this point, the price fall a little bit and uh, that was uh, so predictable. Uh, that's why I do a trade here for five minutes only because in general, it is a downtrend. Friends, when the price is high enough, it is the best point to enter the bearish market. Remember that, you know this already. You know, for sure. Uh, I'm telling you about this many, many, many times. And yes, that, that was uh, very smart of me to open the trade for five minutes because it allows me to make more long-term decision, more long-term predictions. Um, if I open a trade for one minute, for example, the price uh, could go a little bit higher than my entry point and I could lose. Friends, but I open a trade for five minutes and uh, in five minutes, real red candles were formed. Fine, that's why my investment were doubled. So cool and I think I can go to the second currency, Australian dollar and Switzerland franc. And in this video, I will be showing you lots of tricks that you can apply to this chart. So, 
um, we will be searching for the best entry point here and let's evaluate what's happening on this chart for example on 10 minutes candles again really huge volatility i can't see the patterns exactly like head and shoulders or some common patterns but i can see rich price history and that's one of the aspects that you have to see in this volatility we can uh, see that this range is not uh, accomplished yet and uh, we still have time for the price to fall uh, a little bit that's why again one minute time frame and here i'm ready to open one more trade uh, even stochastic in the oversold area i'm ready to trade here with 600 of dollars friends but here it will be enough for me to open a trade just for one minute not five minutes because i can see clearly these price movements um there is no flat line i can't afford myself trading for one minute and here be ready for call option right now well that's excellent friends the price has grown a little bit and i made a trade just for one minute i knew that uh, the price has fallen off uh, too far Mm, this entry point was excellent for call option because you know the price was too low so yes you can adapt to the market conditions and if you understand that the price is low enough just open a call option and from your point the price could grow a little bit but after that when the price will be in a high position um, you can open a put option if it is general bearish market so everything is pretty easy right uh, just use this knowledge and let's hunt in more entry points so let's check the third currency here and us dollar pretty common currency pairs lots of traders are gaining their profit here and we are not an exception why why not let's open a trade here again and uh, what's happening here very interesting situation this can be one more key level because the price is going up to this point this was a support level for these price movements uh, but if uh, the price will stop here a little bit uh, this support level it means it will work out what's happening on bigger time frames again let's compare 30 minutes time frame well we can see these uh, dodgy candles and as i said the price is trading in this range i said that the price still has time to grow but this time is over because i see this perfect pattern we see this dodgy candle and um, in the form of cross with the long wicks above and below this candle and very very short body uh, that means um, that the price has to be reversed and that's exactly what happening friends this candle this red candle is forming falling down uh, we almost have this intersection in stochastic and yes i think that in general the price will fall from this moment so yes that's why it's so important to understand the range and period of the currency of each currency of each asset and uh, you are dealing with maybe it's not a currency pair maybe you are trading with stocks or crypto i don't know uh, just pay attention to the range and here we have to deal with this range for example up uh, up uh, to from this to this point okay yes the price here is falling okay um, let's get to one minute time frame and i hope you understand now the logic of how to search for the best entry points friends uh yes this level is already broken that's uh, excellent actually friends um i want to deal here with a thousand of dollars uh, and due to the fact that i want to decrease my risks i want to make my time expiration for five minutes because maybe Maybe for one minute the price could uh, rebound in up direction a little bit but in general I expect um, the fall of the price so here uh, be ready for put option right now let's do it Wow that's excellent friends I'm in a profit and what's happened here uh, as I said, the price met this support level and here the price fall has
has stopped a little bit. Even we can observe this growth of the price. But anyway, finally, I really appreciate my decision to open here trade for five minutes because finally this support level was broken a little bit by this movement of the price. And finally, the price went lower. So that's how you can search the best signals. Wow, amazing. And I think we have to work out one more station here. Let's check what's happening uh, with the second currency. Yeah, second currency, Australian dollar and Sweden franc. And I think we have already um, discussed what's happening here and nothing changed about uh, this currency pair. I want to work out one more station with the um, you and let it be let it be your an australian dollar as you see the price here is falling and what's happening on our 30 minutes time frame i'm interested oh pretty nice growth of the price here a growth of the price again but after such rapid growth of the price we can observe some period of correction fine rapid fall period of correction growth and again period of correction so some um, coincidence uh, for for our patterns but this patterns okay let me see what's happening on uh, four hours time frame just to understand really huge volatility sometimes we have these patterns like uh, triple top after which once uh, level is broken the price is falling down and here i think this pattern uh, would go lower a little bit and yes stochastic in uh, the oversold area finally after some period of uh, period of correction now the price could fall down okay uh, we have to deal with our one minute time frame again with these local patterns and i think this was pretty nice to see this uh, breakout of this support level because after this breakout the price is gradually um, falling down friends i like this actually i can use this opportunity and invest two thousand dollars yes i think i will do this again for five minutes and be ready for put option right now well that's excellent friends as you see i opened the position um uh, here for five minutes and five minutes my contracts expired and as you see i took my profit the price is falling down according to the general trend and it was a smart of me to open a trade for five minutes because in five minutes the price could rebound in up direction a little bit and i could lose friends but anyway with five minutes in my time expiration i took my profit so cool amazing so i think now you understand how to work with the patterns how to search uh, the best entry point and i hope you uh, got all the secrets that I told you right in this video. I am satisfied with uh, my results I think it's time to finish my videos. So friends, it was an amazing session and I really appreciate for your time Thanks for being with me. Thanks for subscribing my channel And I want to tell you if you want to trade with me in life, please send me a message Be a part and I will happily add you to my telegram channel or go below this video and follow my telegram channel You will find and lots of free signals and useful information for your own profitable session. So please go on, stay tuned and bye-bye.